Hello friends. Welcome to another episode of uaetaxagent.com. Today we will discuss some of the aspects of administrative penalties which are being generally overlooked. Creating an awareness about the penalties is the first step to avoid those penalties. Please note that this is not an academic session. So we will try to explain in a simple language without using much of the legal jargons. Let us go through the penalties one by one. Friends, this is the first place where a company will be subject to penalty if it fails to apply for registration for VAT with FTA within the 30 days of it becoming liable for registration. So it is very important to understand when it is mandatory to apply for VAT registration. Mandatory registration has two criteria. If you meet any of those criteria, then it is mandatory to apply for registration for VAT within next 30 days. Criteria number one, if your taxable revenue and your import into UAE put together is more than 375,000 dirhams for the past immediate 12 months, then you are liable to apply for VAT registration within the next 30 days. When I said past immediate 12 months, please note that this is not the calendar year from Jan to December. This is calculated from the day you check to the preceding immediate 12 months. If you do not meet the criteria number one, which is your turnover and import into UAE for the past immediate 12 months does not reach to AED 375,000. But if you expect that it will cross 375,000 in the next 30 days, then you met the second criteria and you are liable to apply for VAT registration with FTA within the next 30 days. What if you fail to apply for the VAT registration or you applied after the time frame of 30 days, then you will be subject to administrative penalty of 20,000 dirhams. Please note that this liability is a continuous one. A newly formed company is liable on a daily basis to check whether they meet any of these two criteria and if they met the criteria then apply to FTA for the VAT registration within the next 30 days to avoid the registration penalty. While registering with FTA, you might have submitted all your incorporation documents to FTA to enable your registration. Later, if there is any amendment in those documents, then you are liable to request for the amendment with FTA within 20 working days of the amendment of such documents. These documents include your trade license, memorandum of association, your uh, uh, tenancy contract and any incorporation documents you have submitted to FTA while registration. Now say you have changed your office or there is a change in the manager or there is a new partner coming in the license or an existing partner has exited the license. All these are the amendments which require you to apply to FTA for an amendment in their file within the next 20 working days from the date of change of this document. What if you fail to inform FTA if there is any amendment in your incorporation documents? In that case, there is a penalty of 5,000 dirhams for the first time. And if you repeat this violation, then the penalty will be 15,000 dirham for every repetition of the violation. This is the last place 
where a company may be subject to administrative penalty if it fails to apply for deregistration within 20 working days from the date it becomes mandatory to apply for deregistration as per the law. There are two situations where it is mandatory to apply for deregistration. The first situation is that when you decide to stop your business and you don't have any intention to restart your business in the next 12 months, then it is mandatory for you to apply for deregistration within 20 working days from the date of the decision to stop your business. In the second situation, you have two conditions and you have to meet both conditions to be mandatory to apply for deregistration. The first condition relates to your taxable revenue and the second condition relates to your taxable expenses. Let us see that. If your taxable revenue and imports into UAE put together is less than 187,500 dirhams for the past immediate 12 months and also you don't expect it to cross this amount in the next 30 days then you met the first condition of the second situation. The second condition relates to your taxable expenses. If your taxable expenses is less than 187,500 dirhams for the past immediate 12 months and also you don't expect this to cross 187,500 in the next 30 days then you met the second condition once you meet both these conditions then you are liable to apply for VAT deregistration within 20 working days of you being meeting these two conditions so for those companies whose turnover is on this level there is a continuous liability on them to monitor their revenue and taxable expenses to see if they are meeting these two conditions and once they meet then they have to apply for deregistration within the next 20 working days most of the companies who go for liquidation will fall in situation one but then they ignore to apply for deregistration with FDA thus your file will remain active with FDA and then you will have to pay penalty for every VAT return you fail to submit please note that as long as your file is open with FDA there is continuous penalty for not filing the VAT return and you are on the assumption that your company is being liquidated and you are no more liable for any liability this liability will remain until you apply for a deregistration and then get approval from the FDA on the deregistration and you pay the administrative penalty if there is any charged by the FDA for non-applying of deregistration within the time frame. What if you are mandatorily required to apply for deregistration but you fail to do so within the time frame? Then there is an administrative penalty of 10,000 for the violation. Now let's move towards VAT return filing and penalties associated with that. We know that VAT return has to be filed and the payment has to be made within 28 days from the end of the relevant tax period. With respect to VAT return filing, there are two distinctive responsibility. The first one is to file the VAT return through submitting form number 201. And the second responsibility is to pay the VAT amount you declared in the form number 201. If you fail to file the return by submitting form number 201, then there is an administrative penalty of 1000 dirhams for the first time. And if you repeat the same violation within next 24 months, the penalty will be 2000 dirhams for each failure to file the form number 201 
for each relevant tax period. Now, if you filed the return by submitting form number 201, but if you failed to pay the amount mentioned declared in your form number 201, then there is an administrative penalty which is applied in three stages. The first stage of administrative penalty, which is 2%, will be chargeable immediately on the day you missed to pay within the time frame. The time frame is 28 days from the end of the relevant tax period. The first stage of administrative penalty, which is 2%, will remain for 6 days. And on the 7th day, the second stage will start, which is 4% on the unpaid tax amount. Now the second stage of administrative penalty, which is 4%, will remain for next calendar month from the date you missed to pay the taxable amount. That is from 29th to 28th of next month. So on 29th of next month, the administrative penalty will reach to third stage, which is 1% chargeable for every day you miss to pay the VAT amount. Please note that this third stage of administrative penalty, which is 1% chargeable every day for the unpaid tax amount, will continue until this administrative penalty may become 300% of the unpaid tax amount. For example, if your tax liability is 10,000, the administrative penalty can reach up to 30,000 in addition to your tax liability of 10,000. What if you have not filed even the form number 201 and then you have not paid the tax amount also? Please note that in that case, the tax liability will be calculated only when you file the form number 201 at later stage and the penalty will be calculated as if you have not paid from the original date of the payment. So all three stages of the penalty will be calculated from the day you are supposed to pay the VAT liability. Friends, we have discussed some of the administrative penalty in a simple way so that you can understand easily. Now we will cover remaining penalty in the coming videos including when you file the wrong return. How do you correct it? What are the penalties attached to that? And also we will cover other penalties associated with that. Thank you very much for your support, likes and subscription. Take care. Bye-bye.